Back for more Bay Sunday now. It's been around for 15 years, spreading the wonderful culture of Cuba right here in the Bay Area from dance to music. If it happens in Cuba, it'll happen with the folks at Plaza Cuba, an organization that's spreading the goodness from the Caribbean island. They'll even take you to Cuba. Let's welcome in their executive director, Elisa Froman. How are you? Great. Thank you for having me. You bet. So you make a trip down to Cuba, you fall in love, and you said, I got to bring some of this culture back home. Is that kind of how it started? It's how it started. Um, I went with the Bay Area Organization, Caribbean Music and Dance Programs in the 90s, and uh, it was a tough time in Cuba in the 90s. Uh, Things weren't that great, but the people of Cuba just draw you in, and we basically met musicians, artists, dancers, and really fell in love with the place. And was that it? Was it the people when you got there just embraced you and you it's said, I got to let people know about this? Yeah, the people of Cuba, they're very intelligent, they're very open, loving, warm, friendly, artistic, creative. What is it about the music? And the, and the dance of Cuba that just makes it right for you? Um, I think some people are really uh, just drawn in by the salsa music, yeah. by Latin music. You by can't Latin help but move, jazz. right? You, you can't you, help but move. So, um, one thing about music in Cuba is that musicians are trained from a very young age. They start at around five, six, or seven. They take classical music programs throughout school into high school. And so by high school, you've probably already been studying for six or seven years. And it creates a very large uh, group of super talented mu musicians coming out of Cuba. So not just... Um the salsa, but Afro-Cuban folklorico as well? What is that, by the way? So, um, during the African diaspora that happened all over the Americas, you know, a lot of Africans ended up in Cuba mm -hmm. during the slave trade, and they had a very particular way of dealing with the slave groups, and they were allowed to stay together in a lot of cases and practice their religion. Some people spoke the same langu language, and um, it was a real um, hotbed of preservation that we don't really have here of all these distinctive cultures uh, directly from, from Africa. And they kept their traditions going, playing music, having uh, religious ceremonies. And that music came into the popular music of Cuba and really influenced it in a big way. So and you were there when President Obama started to thaw some of the relations with Cuba. You can travel there now, still needs a little work to be done, but uh, you were actually there. What was the reaction on the island? On December 17th, 2014, I was in Cuba when the big announcement was made and many of the Cuban people were just out in the street literally yelling, jumping up and down, because for them, the isolation of being able to participate in the rest of the world and interact and travel and have the support of the United States has been difficult for them. Take us through some of the video. This is on one of your trips, and we'll talk about the trips in a moment, but this is in Cuba. Uh, old, old buildings, old cars, but like you said, it's just, it's a throwback. Yeah, it's a throwback, and as you see here, these are old streets that were developed during uh, when Spanish uh, rule was in Cuba in the late 1800s, and these buildings still stand. So this day, we went to a regular lunch spot to have lunch, and this is what you might find there is amazing music, beautiful dancers, great food and uh, a really warm reception always. Now, you folks travel to Cuba, too. So yes, folks we do. can, how does someone become a part of Plaza Cuba, and how do they get to go to Cuba if that's what they want to do? Well, our programs are legal under a category of legal travel called people-to-people -people educational travel. And we have a license, so you can travel legally from the U.S. You just call us or email us. We have a program coming up in December for the Havana Jazz Festival, 
We do various trips focused on music and dance, mm -hmm. and once you get a hold of us, you just, um, you know, decide which trip you like, March, the summer, December, yeah. pick what one works best for you and, and join the program. Highly it's recommend pretty it. easy. Our boss here at uh, Channel 5 just got back after spending nearly a week there and he showed me a number of pictures on his iPad. Just, it's, it's such a beautiful, beautiful country and uh, so happy that they're opening relations and hopefully uh, we can get down there a little bit more. Thanks for coming in. Sir, sure. Great Thanks to meet you. Thanks for having Lisa. me. Pleasure Thank to you. have you. If you'd like more information about Plaza Cuba, log on to plazacuba.com. That's plazacuba.com. We're going to be back with more Bay Sunday right after the break. Stay there.